The fight for 15 was over a decade ago. You guys, like, the 15, I want you guys to realize that the fight for 15 started over a decade ago. $15 per hour is a star race, starvation wage right, right now. It's a starvation rate, uh, wage. The cost of living where I live is very low. And even then, where I live in Missouri, bumfuck Missouri, very low standard, very low cost of living. $15 an hour where I live is a starvation wage. I hope you guys realize that. It's a starvation wage. I will barely have any money left over paying rent, car payments, food, all, uh, all the sort of uh, bills that we have as well. Um, I think the minimum wage here, I don't, I don't actually remember, but I think it's federal. I think it's the same as the federal minimum wage, Rocky Flames. Um, but with fifteen dollars an hour, there are plenty of places to live where you can't afford transit, housing, food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, imagine a fifteen dollar hour minimum wage in cities like L.A., New York. Chicago, Atlanta, and so on, right? And so on. So this is this is the story I'm, I'm referencing to, to here, because obviously di uh, liberals are celebrating this. And my question I posted, I'm like, do do shit libs really think fifteen dollars an hour is a living wage? Do they really believe that fifteen dollars an hour is a wage that people can live on? Now the question to that. It's clear to me. They know fifteen dollars an hour is not a living wage. They know it's not. Liberals know fifteen dollars an hour is not a men a living wage, but you gotta understand their core ideology. A lot of people give liberals way too much credit, especially on the progressive left. Especially on the progressive left. They give them way too much credit. What they believe. I see stuff. People say stuff like they're their, our allies. They mean well. They don't. Their ideology. They believe that working class people should only get 15 bucks an hour. They really believe in trickle down economics. To the core. I was like, we need to start. We need to stop sugarcoating shit. That's my mindset. And just like you guys point out right now, the the minimum wage was is fifteen dollars an hour in New York right now. Right now, that's the minimum wage in New York. So how is that going to help the poor and disenfranchised people in New York? <laughs> yeah, Tom Starr advocated for twenty two bucks an hour. My friend, forgive what you put on. Uh, I just want to let you guys know. I said, we need to start calling it what it is. Liberals believe poor people deserve to be where they at right now. Liberals know that is not a living wage. Nor do they care. They see poor people as lesser people who deserve their trauma. I've seen the conservative arguments against this. What about small businesses? What about, what about small businesses? What? <laughs> you guys realize that they've been using this talking point ever since the minimum wage was about three dollars an hour, right? Ever since then, every time there has been a minimum wage increase, which we haven't had in about twelve years, because our system is completely broken. And I don't know why people pretend that we don't live in a system. I don't know why people pretend we live in a system that works. It doesn't work. That's why you don't see effective change. That's why you don't see the minimum wage increase based on inflation. That's why it's still... I mean, I'm talking about 15 bucks an hour, but imagine 7. 7.50. What is it? National... Uh, no, 7.50, something like that. Imagine that. I couldn't wrap my mind around living on that wage. Let alone taking care of a family or anything like that. 7.25. Thank you, Bethany, my friend. So the right wing has been saying that if you increase the minimum wage, that you would tank small businesses. They say that ever since 
the minimum wage was starting to get hiked up from three bucks an hour. And did it happen? No. If you can't afford to pay your workers a living wage, you don't deserve to be in business. Because studies show that increasing the minimum wage will boost the economy. Gradually raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks will be good for workers, good for businesses, and good for the economy. It's very weird how we constantly get these studies that come out that prove progressive policy is right. <laughs> That's all it is. Like, there are studies that show that canceling student loans will boost the economy. There are studies that show um, canceling, like, all these progressive ideas. There are studies that show that UBI, implementing UBI, will boost the economy. Medicare for all will boost the economy. Why is it that all of progressive ideas is proven by studies to boost the economy, to do the things that we say they're going to do? But we are still smeared as far left or radicals because we support them. But the studies always in favor of left media. Uh, sorry, these studies always uh, back up left wing policies because we had the facts on our side. Progressive economics is how you move forward. Hey, C Dubs, I'm glad you're in the chat. But trickle down economics is a failure in every sense. In every aspect, trickle down economics is a failure. I covered it on my show before, how trickle-down economics, based on a long-term study, long-term study, shown it had no effect on it, no positive effect on the economy at all. The only thing that trickle-down economics accomplished was making the rich richer. It's the only thing it did. As of 2019, 30 million Americans was making less than $30,000 a year. Imagine the impact you will have on local economies everywhere when you had a worker, workers making a living wage so they can shop at stores and be a participant in the economy instead of pushing pennies like the working class, the ruling class wants to do right now. Half of American workers made less than $35,000 in 2019. But you know what's the worst part? That I think honestly should have been the headline. In this, 50, uh, half of workers making $35,000 or less is the shocking thing. But this is what I find even more detestable, right? Because these are the people that we are referring to that we will help, right? Thirty million Americans. Once you combine these three numbers, because they talking about ten million Americans make twenty-five thousand to thirty thousand. Um, you have. You had them uh, another ten, may, may between twenty thousand and twenty five thousand, and then around the same number for around fifteen thousand to twenty thousand. So that means thirty million Americans are making less than thirty thousand dollars a year. How is that sustainable, especially in an economy where billionaires are making record profit, where industry is making record profit? I guess it's progress. But you're still leaving injustice out there. And, and I don't see any reason why we should be praising these rich motherfuckers for doing the bare minimum. But my point was, Democrats was very, very sneaky. They will run on this in 2024. Why do you think they picked 2025? Do you think they picked 2025 because they were talking to economists? No. Do people, do people really believe that they crafted this policy based on what economic advisors were saying they should do. No, no chance, no chance at all. They chose 2025 so they can run on it. They can run on it in 2024. Vote for Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. Vote for Joe Biden. If you want the minimum wage to be fifteen bucks an hour, if you if we don't win, if you if, if we don't win in twenty twenty four, the Republicans will reverse the minimum wage increase. That's why they do what they do. Twenty twenty two to come up, 
Oh, we gotta win because hey, the minimum wage. What are we gonna do? That's why. And for the life of me, I don't understand why people don't see past. I don't see why people uh, people don't see through this. So I think I think that kind of sums it up, and that's why I, I I'm not willing to um, like just heap praise on Democrats whenever they do something because it's so transparent what they're trying to accomplish. We already ran. We already went through why it's not going to be effective for the working class. I mean, but by the time we get to twenty twenty six, by the time we get to twenty twenty six. $15 an hour is going to be even more of a poverty wage. It's a poverty wage right now.